Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to discuss about the problems related to KCL and KVL. Right. So here the problem is in the circuit shown in figure, the total power dissipated is 488 watts. Okay, the value of power is given. Find the current in each resistor and the potential difference between the points A and B. That is, we need to calculate the current that flows through all the resistors and the voltage across this terminal AB. Okay, what is the value of voltage? Right. So, here the one and only given data is power. Okay. So, with the help of power, we need to calculate the rest of the things. Right. So, here the first thing is we are going to calculate the value of total resistance for this given circuit. So, here how to calculate the total resistance here? These three resistors are connected in parallel. So, we have to calculate the total resistance that is equivalent resistance of this combination. And finally, when you solve this, we will be having the equivalent resistor will be a single resistor and again here we will be having a 10 ohm resistor. And again these two resistors will be in series. Now you have to simply add. Okay, this is the way to find the total resistance. So first the given thing is, you see for a parallel combination of resistors the formula is 1 by 5 plus 1 by 20 plus 1 by 2.5. Right. So just solve and calculate it the value of R. It is 1.54 ohms. Right. That is here. It is 1.54 ohms and here this 10 ohm remains as such. Right. Now here the total resistance is just you have to add. 1.54 plus 10 gives you 11.54 ohms here. Right. So here the value of power is given as 488 watts. Right. The formula for power is again V into I and here I is written as V by R. Therefore, V squared by R is equal to 488. Right. So, the value of resistance we have calculated. Yes. So, just substitute it here and just calculate the value of V. Right. We, we can know. We will know V square. Just take square root. We will be having the value of V here. Right. So, the total voltage is calculated. Right. Now, the next thing is we are going to calculate the value of current by Ohm's law. So, again I is given by V by R. We have calculated V. We already know the value of R. We had calculated. So, just substitute it here and the value of current is found out to be 6.5 amps here. Right. Again, now go back to the circuit. Now, the current flowing through this circuit is 6.5 amps, right? Do you agree? Because we had calculated total resistance. We had calculated, calculated the voltage. So, from the knowledge of V and R, we had calculated the value of current here, right? The value is 6.5 amps here, right? So, from this knowledge, we can easily calculate the Voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor, right? We know the current, we know the resistance. So, the voltage drop across this 10 ohm resistor will be 6.5 into 10. So, which is nothing but here it is a 65 volt, right? And here what about the total voltage? That is voltage across AB is, we have calculated it as 75.04 volt here. Right. So, now here it is 65 volt. Then what about the voltage across this parallel combination? You have to subtract this 75 minus 65. Approximately it will be 10 volt here. Right. So, this is what written here. It is approximately 10.04 volt. And now this 10.04 volt is impressed across this parallel combination. Right. We know the value of V, we know the value of R. Therefore, we can easily calculate the currents flowing through these resistors. Right. So, you see, current flowing through this 5 ohm resistor is V by R, it is 2 amps. And flowing through this 20 ohm is again V by R, so 10.04 by 20. And again, this 2.5 ohms is 4 amps. Right. 
So finally, we had calculated the value of voltage across the terminal A, B and the current flowing through each resistors, right. So finally, this is our result, right. So here, the problem gets over. We will proceed with the next problem. So our next problem is, if the total power dissipated in the circuit shown is 18 watts, find the value of R and current through it. So, this is the given circuit diagram, right? And this circuit uh, seems to be a bit unclear, right? So, the first step is, we have to redraw the given circuit. So, how to redraw the circuit, you see? This is the way to redraw the circuit here. That is, here we are having just a, uh, what to say, just a line is drawn like this, right? So, here the same way, anyways, you see, these two resistors are in parallel. Do you agree or not? Yes. Again, these two resistors are in parallel and these two parallel combination are connected together. That's it. Right, that is the meaning of this circuit. So, we are redrawing this circuit here. Right, so here once the circuit is redrawn, we are asked to calculate the value of R and the current that flows through R. So, again, this is a parallel combination, right? So, how to calculate the equivalent resistance? You have to multiply 8 into R divided by 8 plus R. And similarly here you see we are having two resistors in parallel. So again 4 into 16 divided by 4 plus 16. Right. So you see here we are having the respective answer as 3.2 ohms. Now again I am simplifying this circuit. That is these two resistors are R, A, C. And here the resistors between this C and B are C, B or R, B, C. Right. Now, what is the value of total resistance? Here, these two resistors are connected in series. Therefore, you have to add, right? So, here the total resistance is RAC plus the value of RBC is 3.2. So, it is directly substituted here, right? Now, the next given parameter is power dissipated is 18 watts, right? So, P is given by, again, V i, i can be replaced by V by R, therefore it is V square by R, right. So, P is equal to V square by R, right. So, R can be written as V square by P. So, the value of V is, it is 12 volt, you see it is directly given in the problem here, it is 12 volt, right. You see it is 12 volt here. So, just substitute the values. We know the value of V, right? So, it is 12. And what is the value of R? So, sorry, we need to calculate R. So, the value of R is V square by P and V is 12 and the value of P is 18, right? So, when you substitute the value of R is 8 ohms here, right? So, here what is mean by this 8 ohm? That is the total resistance of this circuit is 8 ohm, right? So, what is the total resistance of this circuit? It is nothing but RAC plus 3.2. Now, just equate this expression to 8, right? Because this is, this is the expression for total resistance of the circuit. And from the knowledge of power, we had calculated R. This R also, this R gives the total value of the resistance. Right. So, these two are the same. So, when you equate, we can easily calculate the value of RAC which is 4.8 ohms here. Right. So, we have calculated RAC. Now, just substitute the calculated value of RAC in this expression. So, when you substitute, we can easily find out the value of R here. So, when you substitute, you see RAC is 4.8. Right. So, the next step is cross multiplication. So, when you cross multiply here, we will be having the values like this. And finally, here the value of R is calculated as 12 ohms. Right. So, this is what which is asked in the problem. So, 
So the next thing is we are asked to calculate the current that flows through this resistance or here. Right. So the thing is again I am simplifying the circuit to calculate the total current that flows through this circuit. So once you simplify you see RAC is nothing but 4.8 ohms and RCB is nothing but 3.2. Right. That is the values will be 4.8 and 3.2. So when you combine the resistors in series, what will be the answer you are getting? The total value of this resistance is 8 ohms here. Right. So when you use ohms law, we can easily calculate the current that flows through this circuit. So V is equal to IR and I is equal to V by R. What is the value of V? It is 12. And what is the value of R? It is 8. Right. So here the answer is 3 by 2. 2 here so which is nothing but 3 by 2 is nothing but 1.5 amps right so this 1.5 amps is the total current that flows in this circuit right so how to calculate the value of current that flows through resistance or here what is the rule we can use we can use the current division rule right that is current through this 12 ohm resistor. It is given by what is the formula? Total current. Here the total current is 1.5 multiplied by we, we, are, we want to calculate the current that flows through 12 ohm. So the opposite resistance is 8 ohm. So 8 divided by total resistance is 12 plus 8. Right. So here it is 1.5 into 8 divided by 12 plus 8 is 20. So finally when you solve the answer is 0.5.